Time to play Family Feud. Hey guys, what's going on? It's your boy B back with you once again for another edition of Family Feud right here at MVG Productions. Glad you could join me here once again. We're continuing on with the games of Family Feud here. And we've got more action headed this way. So let's go ahead and jump right into this game. Choose play a along with me at home to see how well you did. Let's see if your answers made the survey or not. But let's jump into it. Let's play the few. Here's our player. Going head to head against the average score of our expert player. Let's play the Family Feud! Alright. First round of the we day. Here we surveyed 100 go. people. The top six answers are on the board. Here's the question. Alright. If you are filling in for Santa, name something you would have to learn how to do. Fly a sleigh. I hope it's up there. Let's see. Here we go. Good job, you got one. What else? Um, climb down chimneys. I like that answer. I hope it's up there. Beautiful job. There are still more up there. Um, check the list twice. Let's take a look. Away. What else? All right. Um. Make toys. I like that answer. I hope it's up there. Really? Oh, well, that's not one of our top answers. Okay, it's a strike. That's okay. What about deliver gifts? I like that answer. Is it there? Really? I didn't make the circle. Sorry. Strike two. You get another chance. Um. Laugh ho ho ho. Let's try that one. Survey says. There it is. Yes, ah, way to go. I feel better. Again. I'm like, because number one was bothering me that I couldn't get it. Um, two strikes. I was filling in for Santa. Name something I have to learn how to do. Uh, oh, please hurry, hurry. Call the reindeer's names. Wake up and smell the answer. Please be there. Yes! Yes! Okay, it's there. Okay. One more to go. One more. We got a chance to sweep the board. All right. Work with reindeer. Um, well, you got to work with reindeer. How about work with elves? Good answer. Let's take a look. For the win? Uh, Let's take a look at what five out of six, though, so I'm... Show us six! I'm not mad at that. Let's see what the last answer was. Six. Wear his suit. Well, firstly, for where for me to wear his suit, I probably already fit into it pretty naturally. Might be a little short on me, though, because I think most descriptions have Santa at about 5'10". I'm 6'4". So, yeah. He'd have to adjust the suit, so. But, gut-wise, I'm pretty sure I'd already fill it. But that was again, nonetheless. We got 80 points. A good start for us on Family Feud. Let's see who's ahead. Let's see the average score. Excellent. I'm ahead by 20. A good start. Let's see if we can do better with this next one. We surveyed 100 people. The top seven answers are on the board. Here's what we asked them. All right, name something specific people eat a lot of in England. Fish. Survey says. Fish and chips. There we go. Good job, you got one. There are still more up there. Uh, I like crumpets. that answer. I hope it's up there. Axe away. What else? They ate a little fish and chips. They ate um, crumpets. Now I have to do an English accent just to set my mind in the right place. Uh, fish and chips, crumpets. 
Uh, you technically don't eat tea, but you drink a lot of it. How about tea? Survey says? No, not there. Not there. Strike one. Let's try again. Uh, how about boiled beef? Survey says? No boiled beef. Oh, sorry, it's not on the board. I'm mad at That's no boiled beef. What the heck? That's okay. You have another shot at it. All right, um... You got no fi you got fish and chips, you got crumpets. These are cakes. How about cakes? Survey says No cakes? That was your last try. Well Okay, let's see what So much is. for the British accent. Can we see two? See the rest please. of them. Number two. Biscuits. Can we see four? Now technically you're thinking biscuits, yeah. Biscuits is what they call cookies over there. So if I wrote cookies, I don't think it would have worked. But yeah, biscuits would have been a good one. Four. Four, please. Yorkshire pudding. Let's see number. Bring forth the Yorkshire pudding. I thought it'd be figgy, but, you know, maybe that's just in the holidays. Anyway. Five. Five. Kidney pie. Let's right. see number six. Six. Roast. Okay. Board beef, roast beef. Same difference. You could have given me that because I said beef. Anyway. And finally, last one, seven. Let's see number seven. The scones. See, we're, um, me and Sonny are currently watching a series called Father Brown on Netflix. Um, where one of the characters, uh, the lady that Father Brown works with, um, makes her world-famous strawberry scones. I should have thought of it, and it didn't occur to me until right now. But nonetheless, it's a really awesome show. If you're a fan of, like, the Angela Lansbury, like, murder she wrote. Picture it sort of the same sort of scenario, but the main character is actually a father in a church. It's actually a really awesome show. Sonny's mom showed her to her, and we've been watching it, and I, I actually thoroughly enjoy the show. It really reminds me of, like, when I watched uh, Murder, She Wrote with my mom growing up. So, it's a cool series. If you check it out, it's called Father Brown. Look for it on Netflix. There's your free plug for it, the show. I enjoy it. Anyway, let's get back to the game and see the scores. Okay, let's see how you're doing. Yes, way to go! Still ahead, which is a good sign. Let's see if we can keep it up with going into round number three. It's round three, and you know what that means. We're playing for double points. Yes, we are. We surveyed 100 people. The top five answers are on the board. Here's the question. Let's do it. Name something politicians do on the campaign trail to try to prove they're a nice person. They shake a lot of hands. Survey says... Yes! Way to go! Let's get another one. They kiss a lot of babies. Survey says... There you go. Okay, it's there. There are still more up there. Remember, just as a fun fact here, remember, if you're running for a public office, remember to shake hands and kiss babies, not kiss hands and shake babies. Public service announcement of the day. Anyway, moving on with the game. Um, uh, politicians do on the campaign trail to try to prove they're a nice person. Um, they smile a Show lot. Me. There you go. Good job. You got one. What else? Um. I speak to people. Good answer. Let's take a look. Okay, not yeah, there. It's not up there. That's a strike. Seemed like a reasonable Let's try answer. Again. Um, hmm. What about? Oh, they take pictures. I like that. Can answer. we take a selfie? No, no selfies. Uh, wow. Strike That's two. like a big one nowadays. Well, you get another try. But then again, I have to remember this game, this version of the Family Feud game is a few years old, so selfie I don't think was a word at the time this game was made. But nonetheless, should have been. Um, ooh, what about sign autographs? Show me! Really? No. Strike three. Too bad. Let's take a look at what you All missed. good answers. Let's see None of them made two. it. Let's see what's there. Two. Make promises. 
Five, are you there? That's true. And duck. I thought I said talk to people. Speak to Let's people, talk ahead. to people. I should have been given that. Good work. You're ahead. Nonetheless, I'm still in the lead. 219, 195. Final round will determine if we're playing so fast far. money. So let's, let's see, see what it. happens in round four. Number Our four. values are tripled. We surveyed 100 people. The top three answers are on the board. The question all right, is... Let's see if we can get them all. Name a famous Cindy. The first one I go to from my childhood. Cindy Lauper. Survey says... Uh, nope, sorry, it's not on the board. I'll have to give you a strike. Let's try again. I think I spelled her name wrong. I like that answer. Is it there? Cindy Lauper. Still not there. Wow. So that's your second strike. Well, you get another try at it. Like literally, Cindy Lauper is like the only Cindy that I that I can think of. All right. You know, I'm actually going to take a pause here, stop the clock for a second. I want to make sure I'm spelling her name right, because if I'm not, and this game's really not taking it, then um, I have an issue with it. But let me check here real quick. No, actually, I spelled it right on the first one. Is she just not, it's just not up there. Okay. All right, so I was I don't feel as bad now. All right, restart the clock, please. Um, the only other Cindy I know is from a book, so let's try Cindy Lou. Come on, you can do show me. Oh, wow, skunked out. Okay, let's see what you missed. Number one. Well, number one, Cindy Crawford. Yes. Can we see two, please? Should have got that one. Cindy Brady. Number three. And I don't remember Cindy Williams. I legitly don't. First two, yes, it should have gotten. But legitly don't know who Cindy Williams is. Anyway, if, Let's you, know, see who if you know who Cindy Williams is, tell me who she is in the comments below. But I think with that, unless the computer absolutely failed here, I don't think we're playing fast money. Let's see the final scores. Since the whole thing is fast money in your future. Didn't think time. so. Come back and play the Family Feud. I would have had to get at least one answer right in that final round to have a chance. But all right, didn't go well on this one on Family Feud, so we're gonna. We're going to have to sign off on that one there, but hopefully uh, you enjoyed the game, played along with me. Um, and thank you so much for watching me play some more Family Feud right here at MVP Productions. If you want to see other episodes of Family Feud where I have to do a lot better, check out the playlist here on the channel. And if you want to see more of the great game shows I have here, both past, present, and future, click uh, that subscribe button down below and ring the bell. That way you never miss out on all the fun and games going down here at MVP Productions. And until I really go take a minute and think to myself how to play Family Feud again and realize to go what they're asking for, I'm your host, Brandon Strug, saying thank you so much for watching, and I will see you all next time. Take care. Bye for now, folks. I gotta go over this game.